In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the two proportions test and Fisher's exact template in Sigma Excel. The example I'm going through is taken from the Sigma Excel version 6.1 workbook. Now we're going to begin with a scenario where day shift is running at 80% yield and night shift has 70% yield. This data is based on a random sample of 100 units for each shift and each unit is either good or bad. So the question is, is the day shift running differently than the night shift? Statistically, we call the null hypothesis proportion 1 equals proportion 2 and the alternative hypothesis is that proportion 1 does not equal proportion 2. If the calculated p-value is less than 0 0.05, then we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the day shift and night shift are different. So to open up the two proportions test and Fisher's exact template, click on the templates and calculators button, go to basic statistical templates, and click on the two proportions test and Fisher's exact. Now once you have the template open, enter a value of 80 for your x1, as you'll recall that the day shift had 80 good units. Enter a sample size of 100, as you recall that the total amount of units in the shift is 100. Uh, for your X2, enter a value of 70, as the night shift had 70 good units, and the sample size is the same as the day shift, so enter a value of 100. And you'll see that with our Fisher's exact p-value of 0 0.141, it is greater than 0 0.05, so we do fail to reject the null hypothesis. We do not have enough evidence to show that there is a significant difference between day shift and night shift. This does not mean that we have proven that they are the same. In practice, however, we either assume that they are the same or we collect more data. Now also note that Fisher's exact p-value should be used for any real-world problem. The approximate p-values based on the normal distribution are provided for instructional purposes, for example, comparing to hand calculations. Now we're going to try to double uh, we're going to double our x1 to 160, uh, double the sample size to 200, and do the same for the night shift variables. Double uh, the, uh, the good units from 70 to 140, and double the sample size to 200. And you'll see now that with a, with a Fisher's exact p-value of 0 0.028, we do reject the null hypothesis.